I am convinced that the Big Bang event, which has been confirmed by scientific evidence, was a time where God spoke everything into existence. But if we look at the Bible account, some say there is a problem with that. They say this because the Bible states in, that the entire creation event happened in just six days. From this, most people have determined that these are 24-hour days, but actually, we do not know what the length of these days are since our days are determined by the rotation of the planet on which we live, and that planet was yet to be created. The term for day in the Bible is the Hebrew term yom, which varies in meaning and could mean an age or a long period of time. In fact, many Hebrew scholars believe that those creative days were actually epochs of time. But there is something else which I have learned that I believe you should consider. Since we do have scientific evidence of the Big Bang event, what we need to realize is that that means that all matter, space, and time were created at that event, and from that point all of these things began expanding. Yes, and as I just stated, even the entity of time also began expanding at that event. According to Dr. Gerald Schroeder, an MIT nuclear physicist, astronomers have calculated that the expansion of the universe from the beginning expanded at the rate of one million squared. Yes, that is a number which is impossible for us to comprehend. Now, as we all know with dimensional objects, we take it for granted as we get further away, they become smaller. The same thing happens to time. I know this is hard to comprehend, but it is just as elastic as dimensional objects are. But on the scale where we live on Earth, we just don't notice these small dilations. When you walk across the room, believe it or not, you save time. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time slows down for bodies in motion. Strange as this sounds, it has been proved objectively by flying very sensitive atomic clocks in fast airplanes. Indeed, a very small but measurable amount of time is gone on an intercontinental supersonic flight. The clock on board measures slightly less time than the one left at the originating airport. Now here's an amazing theory and I want you to listen closely to what I'm about to say because it's very important. There is a theory based on the principles I just mentioned that the period of six 24-hour creative days in the Bible is the exact same period of time as the 15 billion years of the creation event. That's right. Let that sink in for a minute. Now, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, how is this possible? Think of it this way. There are two clocks. God's clock ran for six days to where we are now. From somewhere in that universe, say on the earth, Another clock would be running at quite a different rate, that is to say, recording very much more time. Since scientists have calculated that the universe has expanded from the beginning rate of one million squared, as we said earlier, this means that the signals traveling at tremendous speeds would arrive very slowly according to that clock. In the manner that we hear a train whistle drop in pitch as the train speeds away from us, light from the receding stars would also lower in pitch to take on more time to get to us. Dr. Schroeder made his calculations by simply dividing the 15 billion odd years by the approximately 1 million squared expansion of the universe and arrived at his answer, amazingly, about six days. Not only does Dr. Schroeder's theory posit that the whole of time since the Big Bang event can be measured as six days from God's clock, he has also calculated the length of time of each of those days. As it turns out, they are all very well balanced with each day being half of the, pre the day preceding it. So that day one was eight billion years, day two four billion, day three two billion, and so forth. Yes, at the end of it, it totals some 15 billion years on our earthly clock. All of this is described in his book entitled Genesis and the Big Bang, The Discovery of Harmony Between Modern Science and the Bible. But before I finish here, I would like to point out the fact that the expanding universe was also acknowledged in the Bible by the prophet Isaiah many centuries before science came up with these discoveries. Notice the words, I made the earth and created man on it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens. 
and I commanded all their host, Isaiah 45, 12. Once again, we are amazed by our God and all that he has done. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you always.